I'll be showing you seven ways that you can learn snail farming. There are advantages and disadvantages and which ones worked best for me. The number one way to learn about snail farming is the obvious way, which is by watching YouTube videos and Google searches. I think this is how most people get to start. You pretty much go online and search for topics related to snail farming. So what are the advantages? Number one, when you go online to search for information, you have access to a lot of information, ideas, and different perspectives. Secondly, the information is free. Now, when it comes to the disadvantages of this approach to learning, I would say that some of the information can be misleading or outdated, given how difficult it can be to vet the source of the information and its reliability. Number two disadvantage is that because of the mountain of information available to you, you can easily succumb to analysis paralysis. The third disadvantage of this approach to learning is that you can lose access to the information if the video or article is deleted. Now, the fourth disadvantage is that there is little to no support group or a community where you can share ideas with each other, which will then deepen your understanding of snail farming. The fifth disadvantage of this approach to learning is it's mostly based on theory and you lack the hands-on practical experience that will give you that well-rounded understanding of snail farming. Now, the second approach to learning snail farming is joining free WhatsApp training. Some people tend to advertise free snail farming tutorials. Clicking on those ads and going through the instructions will then grant you access to WhatsApp groups where you basically join a number of other people who are also keen to learn. The instructor will then proceed to disable comments, lecture you guys on the basics of snail farming business, enable the comments afterwards, and then proceed to answer any questions you guys might you know, have. Once the lecture is concluded, the instructor will then proceed to upsell you guys on a product or service he or she is offering. For example, it could be consulting services or an ebook. What are the advantages of this approach to learning? Number one is that, again, the approach is free. You don't have to pay for it. And the second advantage is that the information is very concise and to the point. You're taught the basics of the snail farming you know, business. The disadvantage to this approach is that it only covers the basic information. This is because the instructor has a product or a service to sell, which means that it is to their advantage for you to not have the full information or the full picture. If you have the full picture, you wouldn't want to buy their ebook or the services, okay? The second disadvantage to this approach to learning is that there is little to no support rendered, especially if you don't go ahead to purchase the instructor's um, products or services they are offering. The third disadvantage to this approach to learning is that it can be difficult to vet the instructor's background and experience level, i.e. do they actually practice snail farming or are they just selling information that they gathered online. The fourth disadvantage to this approach to learning is a training approach is theoretical and lacks the practical aspects that will help you consolidate your knowledge as a snail farmer. Now, learning approach number three is joining Facebook groups. There are a lot of Facebook groups dedicated to snail farming, especially in Africa, and they are very easy to join. You simply go on Facebook, you search for snail farming groups, choose the ones you like to join, agree to their community guidelines, and then wait for the admin to approve your request to join their group. Once you are a member of the group, you can then begin to interact with other members of that group, as well as asking questions you may have. Now, what are the advantages? Again, this approach is free. You don't have to pay for it. Secondly, you have a support group that you can share ideas with. When it comes to the disadvantage of joining Facebook groups, I would say that your learning approach is a bit all over the place as opposed to being concise and structured. Now, this is mostly because there is usually no instructor whose sole duty or purpose is to teach everyone in the group about snail farming. Rather, it's just a 
community of people learning from each other's experiences by asking questions. The second disadvantage of this approach to learning is that you are not exposed to the practical aspects of snow farming. Again, it's mostly theoretical based. And the third disadvantage that I've noticed with this approach is that there tend to be a lot of distractions. You can see people marketing their products or services within the Facebook groups, which can then tend to distract from the main purpose of being in that group. Now, approach number four to learning is by purchasing ebooks, books, physical books, or audiobooks. What are the advantages? Number one, you are able to access the instructor's wealth of experience, i.e., the triumphs, the failures. You access all of this knowledge cheaply. Secondly, the information is presented in a format that is very concise and easy to digest. The third advantage of this approach is that because some sort of relationship is established with the instructor prior to purchasing their book, it's easier for you to vet the reliability of the information you get in the book because you've already vetted the background of the person selling you the book. Now, the fourth advantage of this approach is that ebooks also serve as a quick reference when you need information promptly. For example, if you need a formula to formulate a well-balanced snail feed, you can easily navigate to the appropriate section of the book via the table of contents. Okay? So it's faster to access information. Now, number five advantage of this approach to learning is that the information is yours to keep forever and you don't have to worry about losing the information as opposed to um, YouTube videos or Google articles that can get deleted. Now, what are the advantages of learning via ebooks? Number one is that the knowledge you gain is heavily based on theory and less on practical. The second disadvantage of this approach is there is a risk of consuming outdated information. Now, the fifth approach to learning about snail farming is by attending seminars. These are events hosted by consultants to teach their attendees the A to Z of snail farming. They usually take place in large, you know, gathering spaces like hotel meeting areas, office conference rooms, or university halls. Now, what are the advantages? Seminars are a great way to learn about snail farming, especially for those that don't like to read. Okay, you just go there, you pay attention, and you learn from what they are saying, as opposed to you reading a book. The second advantage of this approach is that you get to learn a lot about snail farming over a few days while also having the opportunity to you know, network with other farmers who might be able to help you in the future, or you guys might be able to collaborate in a business venture. What are the disadvantages? Number one, they have an entry fee that can be quite high. So if you're not able to afford it, it can be a hindrance. The second disadvantage of this approach is that all travel costs, food costs, hotel costs, and other miscellaneous costs must be taken care of by you. Number three disadvantage is that there is also a slight chance that the speaker may be sharing incorrect or outdated information. So it's quite important to think critically about the knowledge or the information the speaker is sharing as opposed to you know, swallowing everything hook, line and sinker without asking questions. Now the sixth approach to learning about snail farming is to join WhatsApp or Telegram mastermind groups. These are exclusive support groups headed by a reputable instructor that actively shares snail farming knowledge and prefers solution to problems his or her students might be having on a day-to-day -day basis. What are the advantages? Number one, I think this approach works best for people that already have a farm or are in the process of constructing one because you will be able to consolidate your knowledge quicker and apply the principles you learn, you apply them in real time. This will also give you a nice balance of theoretical and practical knowledge as well because if you have your farm that you're constructing or a farm that you already own, when you're in the mastermind group, you learn something and you can quickly go to your farm and practice and get feedback and see if it's actually working for you. So you have 
best of both worlds, the theoretical aspect and the practical aspect. The second advantage to this approach is this learning style gives you a robust support system that will help you navigate the challenges you face as a beginner snail farmer. In addition to this, you can always share your challenges in the group and get helpful feedback from your colleagues and instructor. What are the disadvantages? Number one, you have to pay to get access to this kind of mastermind. Now, the seventh approach to learning snail farming is farm visitation. You basically identify a reputable farm near you and you approach the farmer for on-site training. Depending on the arrangements you have with the farmer, you may spend a week or so with the farmer. During this time, you'll be able to observe him or her closely and see how they handle the day-to-day -day aspects of snail farming. You will also get the opportunity to ask questions as well as handle some of the tasks yourself. The clear advantage to this approach is that it gives you a lot of practical, hands-on experience and most importantly, confidence in your ability to handle your own farm when the time comes. Now, the disadvantage to this approach is that because the information isn't quite structured, the quality of your understanding will depend to a certain extent on your ability to observe and ask good questions. Secondly, you also have to pay to access this opportunity. So the question now is, which approach did I use personally? When I started, I started with the three opportunities discussed um, earlier, uh, opportunities one to four. And then once I identified an instructor that I trusted, I eventually progressed to being part of a paid mastermind group. That being said, I believe no one approach is the best as they all have their strengths and weaknesses. Some are more focused on the theoretical aspect of snail farming, while others are focused on the practical aspect. I realized that it's more effective to combine different learning approaches so that you can enjoy the best of both worlds. Now, if you like to start learning about snail farming, feel free to check out my playlist on snail general knowledge. There, I have several videos covering the type of soil you need for snail farming, how many uh, snails you should stock in your greenhouse or your penthouse, etc. etc. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, kindly like and subscribe.